And or season one, episode eight. And or season one, episode eight. Look, so first off, the Imperial control panel is a beast of a machine. It's, it's pretty and What is he doing here? Do you remember? He is uh, something bean counting something. Something bean counting. <laughs> I, right? I, I, I remember. It, it's something not sexy like he wants. It's not justice. Yeah. That's right. And talk about, you know, I strain for days. Look at these monitors. Oof. Oof. Yeah, just gotta... all day. They're like those old green monitors from the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Those like, cathode regimes. Yeah, they were like black and white, but it was black and green instead of black right. and white. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, what is this thing? It's like it's like the rods and cones in your eyes get depleted, and so like you like see opposite colors. Like if you look at a at a white box for very long, and then look at a black box, it'll like show the opposite color, something like this. Yeah. I wonder if because of these green, does he come out just with two red dots everywhere? Like like he's just seeing red, like red of fight. Maybe, and the after image is the colors the of the image. empire. Red ah, black. there we go. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> it's ridiculous I'm, I'm now a fan of this <laughs> also what is he hooking in here is he doing like some kind of you know voltage measurements <laughs> yeah that's what those I, look like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. very cool i like yeah. the aesthetic i don't know how I convenient like it is but i would totally build one of those at home <laughs> <laughs> These dropships, or maybe drop, these transport ships are like dropping down in this amphitheater, so super loud. And this doesn't have to be like that. You sort them out into whatever ships in a quiet room, and then just send them to the right place. One for like the the prisoners, I guess. I don't know how much they care about that, but like even for your your stormtroopers, like the stormtroopers don't have to be sitting in the jet watch of these transports. You know, but to be, I actually got the feeling that because of the new law the stormtroopers and the prison uh prison guards and where oh. the police were overwhelmed with the logistics of this new operation and i mean it was like is that an amphitheater land them <laughs> and then they're like where they're do you go where do you go yeah i mean they asked the prisoners like where are you going it's like <laughs> i'm going <over> here, here? <laughs> 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 like i'm going to your house <laughs> like, all right <laughs> Let's go play some Xbox. <laughs> so, yeah, what a logistics nightmare. So that's the feeling I got. Very interesting. They're just being, okay, okay, they're just being styling it. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, so this is Cyril Karn and his new job, and, and some ISB workers are coming in. But look, look at this. He's got a new suit. He's got a black suit on this char this charcoal and gray. Like talk what you want about his mom like talking shit about his his brown suit. This color suits him a lot better. It does. He looks sharp. Mama's got taste. She does. She's destroying him emotionally, psychologically, and in his soul. But he looks sharp, so worth it. To the outside world? I mean I mean <laughs> I mean, it would take somebody to have, you know, get to know him for a couple months to figure out that his soul has been destroyed. It's empty. Yeah. But, but until, until then, then, they're like, wow, he's got it together. Full bodied, handsome dude. Tailored. <laughs> the Imperium, the, the Empire is a weird place. A weird they place, like. Yeah. Like things are engineered, over engineered, beautifully designed, but then here, like Department of Transit DOT, they don't give a shit. Like, why are these prisoners held by their hands? They need to be held by their torsos. That's what a seatbelt is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there were rapid accelerations, I mean, everyone's gonna break holding. their arms. Arm is broken. You can't get your prison labor to do stuff with broken arms. Oh, and it could rip off their arms too. Why not just strap him in in a standard five point harness? Yeah. And just make it key lock. Yeah. Let's or have do... these, these uh, roller coaster things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And let's do a front to back configuration. That's Probably right. facing backwards is best. So the accelerations go into the back of the seat. Not a sideways configuration. So if you get an acceleration, you're going That's right. sideways. That is. Right, Andor right here. Andor's head hit his head against this crossbar. That's right. Oh, can you go blue or go uh, red? Can't see that. Crossbar. 
Boom. Hell Dink. Yeah. Show over. That's right. That's Rebellion right. done. Exactly. In fact, why everybody Pilot hit the gas? Everybody's exposed to uh, head problems because each one of them has a like a structural strut mm-hmm. next to them. Also, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when when the pilot hits the gas and all these shoes just in the right. back? That's dangerous. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's a trip hazard for next to guard. Next room, stormtrooper walks in. He's like, "All right, get up!" and he hits the ground. <laughs> Tripped on shoes. Yeah. What are you doing? And what about these uh, these containers on the left, bot, lower left, and right? These are unsecured. I hope they're secured. Yeah, yeah. that's 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 an unsecured right here, hard container. Right yep. here. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they when they put it there, it like latches into place, but their okay. shoes are unsecured. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's consistent with the Empire and the ground forces having to deal with this new law and they're just kind of winging it. But the engineers who designed this transport did not wing it. And they got a row. Yeah, I don't think this, this transport had wings, right? It was just a tube. Yes. Ooh, so so <clears throat> Miro Miro, yeah. Miro pulls mm-hmm. Shiro Karn into into this like investigation or this interrogation room, and she she's like ha- having a talk to him, and he like he summons the courage, he summons the courage mm-hmm. to defend himself and his actions, and also to to promote himself for what he could do for the Empire. Mm-hmm. Is he going to get a promotion? Is she going to turn him to the Empire? I mean, he already wants to be in the Empire. I still think they're pushing him towards like a mercenary status and less of like inside the official imperial structure Hmm. because you know he's already been dishonorably discharged that's wrong that's right but that's right well yeah yeah, i get you i see what you mean he's already had this record tarnished Tarnished. yeah yeah yeah. so in this scene he tried to get a job with miro and she didn't bite shot she said no she, said, she basically no. told him to shut the fuck up and hide and don't look into your problems anymore. Right. But she failed to take into account that he's a fully broken man who will do anything to please his mother. So that's right. He's going to do whatever it takes. He's a he's a caged tiger in his mother's spare bedroom. <laughs> he's ready to strike <laughs> with his action figures. Action figures. They've been convincing him <laughs> that he's a soldier too. That's right. right. <laughs> Clone Wars. Woo! So Blevin says that no, 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 Blevin. So Miro gives the Blevin's report to Cyril Karn, and yes. Cyril Karn has not seen it, and his 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 recollections contrast to what Blevin said. So is mm-hmm. Blevin hiding what's going on on Ferrix? Maybe maybe Blevin is a is an imperial agent. Maybe he's a rebel agent, and that's why Marva is like, oh, the rebels, the the alliance is alive here on Ferrix. Maybe Blevin is on the good side. Maybe he's on the rebel side. I I interpreted the discrepancies between reality and the report as basically Blevin doing a CYA Shit. operation, a cover your ass operation. So not everything that was actually happened went in the report, so it didn't look so bad. That that was I my interpretation. But you're interpreting as he knew reality wasn't going in the report. He's actually Maybe. subtly doing rebel things maybe could that's be. also could consistent be. with he wants complete control over the sector because then shit can go down there and he can squash it if he needs to right this is a lesson to people in the leadership position <laughs> if you don't tolerate bad news you will never get bad news that's true that's right Ooh, narkina 5 narkina 5 is the ocean planet prison world but it's the it's actually the moon of this gas giant. Mm-hmm. I wonder what that would be like. Would would they would they steal atmospheres from each other, just like like black holes and stars? So if it's like the terrestrial moons of Jupiter, they don't really exchange that much atmosphere. But the magnetic field of Jupiter causes this like insane radiation 
in right. tr on those moons like Io and Europa. They're basically uninhabitable. I think a human would die within the day. Right. That must not be in force here. So maybe there's no exchange. Or maybe this planet doesn't have the field that Jupiter does. It's true. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I learned about this. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I learned this about Jupiter's moons. Like Europa seems like a good place to put a a, a station, um, but you have to put it on the right side because there's these Van Allen belts, which are these magnetic yeah. fields that just rip around. They go around with Jupiter, yeah. which is faster than the orbit of, of Jupiter's moons, which means you get these waves of electromagnetic radiation just pummeling one side of the surface because it's, it's, it's propagating uh, around the, mm -hmm. the Jupiter. Neat. So you have and to I, like super shieldings on, on, on yeah. your electronics, otherwise you get fried. And I fairly understand it's not just radiation. There's also like... Um, Particular, particles like, part like yeah, it captures yeah. the solar wind this torus mm -hmm. of magnetic field lines captures the solar wind around jupiter and so there's like protons and electrons and i probably Just, alpha particles floating around maybe maybe yeah and it's really really destructive to people maybe in the future uh technology and shielding will overcome it and it won't be such a big deal right and maybe i can if, imagine if, in star wars it's overcome must be it feels like whatever hydrogens electrons but like no 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 these could be cosmic speeds like they could be fast and they're they're what so they're small mass but they are fast they can really punch things like over time you like you can destroy metal yeah so yeah. either at this planet it has those radiation rings and the techno there's technology to overcome it or they've chosen a gas giant with a small magnetic field so there is no radiation yeah and or and our Narkina 5 has its own field, just like we on Earth here do. That's true. That's true. Protects us. That's true. Neat. Super neat. Yeah. Super neat yeah. to have like a planet moon. Like a Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And this oh, is yeah, this was, is the station they built. I was confused about this. Why not just build the factory that they're gonna build these things in on land? Is was water somehow important to the manufacturing process? It must be because if you see these little um I don't know, water intakes? Like they're here, like here. sinkholes, but water? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there must be either they need water and they're using it or it's somehow cycling through the plant and they need to be right there with water. Then yeah. If, so considering like traditional manufacturing, manufacturing, mm -hmm. there's a lot of heat generation and you'll want to cool things. So that is super convenient. You just make this hole and let gravity just suck the water down for you. You shove it down to wherever it's going to cool your stuff. That being said, I, this is a prison and that they do manual labor. I wonder how much heat generation is made. I mean, there is heat of just people being in there, but it's not like you're like burning and, I don't know, welding and shit. Maybe it's just another situation where the technology has overcome these problems. So constructing it in the water, not a problem. Overcoming heat and, and cooling that needs to happen, not a problem. It's just been overcome. So they just plop this factory down in the water. I mean, it, it no does problem. make it a lot more defensible. Like maybe these are not functional in terms of water cooling. Maybe these are functional in terms of if anyone tries to die, jump off and swim away. No, you're getting sucked in. You're getting sucked in. Yeah. This is like super Alcatraz. Super. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right. Like you can't possibly swim away. You get sucked down. Yeah. Try to escape from Alcatraz. You get sucked down into the meat grinder of the turbines. Oh, I thought you were doing like underneath Alcatraz, there's like this fire pit and timing <laughs> thing. You have to roll underneath just exactly right. Nobody <laughs> knows except Sean Connery. <laughs> Which is still on, by the way, after like 30 years of decommissioning. <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still still active. Just, just oh, turning away. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about The Rock, the movie. Such the a 90s. good movie. Such a good Great movie. Great movie. Ah, feelings. <laughs> place oh so this is the security like the security chief using his his electric zappy me people and and he, he's shocking everyone through the their feet i guess they called it like tungsten tongue stool tongue something tongue stoid hey, tongue stoid tongue stoid tongue stoid steel yeah. which i guess is somehow steel with some extra tungsten and maybe some toads in it i don't know but um yeah so i have two questions one this is an awesome album cover. Put a little, put a little like guitar there, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and or is the the lead singer and guitarist um mm-hmm. also is this is this humane i mean god <laughs> <laughs> there we go is is this humane i mean they don't have chains on them they don't have any implants they don't have like tattoo barcodes like is electrifying your prisoners like a little bit like is that humane i think in principle it's probably pretty humane because you may never be able to use it but given human guards power going to somebody's head you know bad guards it could the power could be abused and really be a form of torture so so it's non-lethal which is good but it's ripe for abuse which is bad Right. There certainly could be worse ways to imprison people, but at the same time, this one, it's still not still not great. That's right, yeah. And they did seem like they were in a ton of pain. It wasn't just like, ah, oh, my feet hurt. They were like floored. Yeah, yeah. and which makes it worse, right? Because then you're just on the ground, like it, yeah. touching this thing, whatever it does. And that was setting one of three, I remember he said. So, mm. I don't know. What is the classic physics problem? It's like, why do birds, how can birds stand on electrical wires without getting electrocuted? And the answer is that they both, both of their feet touch the same wire. And so like their entire body is at the same electrical potential. Really what you need to be worried about is touching two different wires. Now you're, now you're electrocuted. So if that's true, then these guys should not be getting electrocuted because they're touching the same metal um, with, with both feet. So I guess this is something else. Maybe it's a pressure sensitive plating and it knows where two pe- where the both feet of the person is and it can set up a potential for one leg and the other leg so that pain happens. Ooh, the electrical current would go up your left leg and down your right and just through all the nerves in that area. That would nope, I'm I'm I'll do a handstand. <laughs> Let's get right. out of that. <laughs> They're all sterile now. All of them. Oof. That electrocution is nuts. Yeah, they're going to get shafted. <laughs> okay, uh, that's ed- a head editor's downer. Note, editor's note, please, please beep that. <laughs> Ooh, this, this is the scene where... Miro tells Cyril Karn to go back to your job in your your bean counter station and stop looking up and casting Andor. Basically, you've played your part. Go be quiet and die and live the rest of your life. Die slowly. Right. This this could push Cyril. This could push Cyril to join Andor's side. Like I'm going to find Andor mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell this Empire to shove it up their tush because like he's doing the right thing. He's doing the right and just thing to help get this murderer and the empire shuts him down that's corrupt i wouldn't i wouldn't work for them anymore yeah i, I initially i thought that um Ciro would be pushed more to the empire and then i was like maybe he's going to be a rebel but now he's going to go back and he's going to be for the empire i could see him turning rebel because you know it goes against his training and that is and his the empire that's betraying him so he could become a rebel maybe it's like a it's like a pushback against the authority figures like yeah. his mom doesn't respect what he does yeah. the, the the corporation didn't respect what he does here the isb doesn't respect what he does mm-hmm. but he's like he's a good and moral person like somebody respect me if you yeah. won't respect me then i'm going to switch and go the other way that's right we'll see his character could go many different directions at this point he's so fragile He's a loose cannon. He's a tiger yeah. in his mama's spare bedroom. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying that until one day it becomes like a colloquialism. People <laughs> and people in France are like, oh, as the Americans say, he's a tiger in the mama's bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> it means this guy. All comes from Andor. Oh yeah, so here Cassian, the 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 guards are like not organized again. They've got like their schedules mixed up and they're like talking past the guards as administrative screw ups happening. And Cassian is like, hmm, can I exploit this for the escape? So he's already planning the escape. I'm sure of it. Yeah, he's getting he's gathering intel, getting ready to That's rock, right. getting ready to That's get right. out of there. Oh, this guy. Um, Well, first, first, I forgot his name. Let's look him up real quick. 
yeah, what's his name? So his name is Kino Loy. Okay. He's the the deck commander. I'm not mm-hmm. sure what the word to use. It's Kino Loy. So I don't understand why does he care so much? Like you're a prisoner amongst other prisoners, and yeah, you're the head prisoner, but you're all prisoners. Like I I maybe I like want to protect my guys, but I don't really want to drive people for the sake of this com- this this prison. Like why does he care so much? So what I what I understood was that he was pretty close to being released by the Empire. Yeah. And that his supervision of other prisoners helped him maybe reduce his sentence. Oh or something like that. And yeah. he he doesn't want to rock the boat. So he, anybody knew he wants to get him right in line so that he keeps his numbers good so he can get out of there within two hundred and fifty days or whatever he said. Um Okay, that makes sense. So maybe it's a bit of a hazing for the new guy to make sure that he stays, keeps the numbers up so that this guy can get out. That's what I I thought. And I guess in a way, this guy's success, Kino Lloyd's success, is Mm -hmm. also success for everyone else because they don't have any screw ups. They don't cause any, any, Mm -hmm. get any extra attention. They just Mm -hmm. do their thing and everyone gets out. Like, okay, I get it. Yeah, maybe. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is the prison. This is the prison cell. This this is Andor's particular prison cell. And so he's got like a water supply, a food supply, mm-hmm. a, a spoon table, a shaver guy. And and, mm-hmm. and uh, this actually, I mean, this is pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, so this, this was food. This was water. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. was his tray and spoon. Mm-hmm. Where was the razor? Oh, the razor is this guy on the right. Here's this razor. It's like a, it's like an electric oh, shaver, electric blade. one. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, in modern prisons, you don't get these for yourselves. You, you get, you share them with, you know, whoever's in your area, right? So like, this is kind of more like a little tiny apartment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one wasn't terrible. I mean, besides the yeah. dehumanizing feeding tube of slop, you know, yeah. if they could just Flavorous. give him a meal, it's not that bad. Yeah. Also, not having a door. That's not. That's not nice. That's not smell like one's farts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, actually, that's I would have preferred drama. it if they had a force barrier. Like that would have been nicer, actually. You saying they have like a Dark Lord of the Sith on hand to keep the force barriers up? Like a like a shield, like a they they have these in Star Wars where it's like they can project a beam that's like a, a barrier that you can't mm-hmm. cross. Mm-hmm. Do they have force they fields in Star Wars? Where there's like yeah, turn on the force field, and then yeah. you can't go through. Yeah, I remember there was, so in episode, Star Wars episode two, there's a scene where Count Dooku has has um, Obi-Wan captured, and he's like floating in like a handcuff thing, whatever. So I figured oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so they do. And then also, the I guess in episode one, they had those, like, they had these doors that like closed and separated Qui-Gon and Darth Maul from Obi-Wan. Like, oh, yeah, the red. The red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Like, I like to sleep with the door closed because it's not a little cozy little box that you sleep in. Like, yeah. So the open, I don't care for. Yeah, open is kind of losing your identity in some way. Yeah. Yeah. So this this reminded me of like these these like hotel pods, like no, 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 these like airport sleeping mm-hmm. pods. Yeah, like this, except that you get your own like shower and oh, it's yeah. clean through every day, and yeah, pretty nice. Don't gotta wear shoes everywhere. Oof. Yeah. Feel free. Free and cool. It'd be, it'd be great to be a prisoner doing prison labor. Feel great. I thank the my lucky okay. stars. Thank okay. you, Emperor. Okay, except for the prison aspect. Okay, okay. <laughs> except for the prison aspect, what they do is pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. it's like a think about it like a corporate team bonding exercise. You gotta work together to build this thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like mechanical, mm-hmm. it's like adult Legos. That's way better than doing like like these icebreaker games or whatever. Like I don't want to do that. I want to like make a cool thing with my friends. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to quit it either. Wouldn't be able to quit. I'd keep going on just every day, day and night. Just shower up, shave it up, and get back out. Get back out there. Be so efficient. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can clearly see Cassian is into it. The enthusiasm yeah. off the charts. He... I mean, you can see it. His body language is saying, I want to do it. He's looking down at the ground because 
he know, is the ground. He's looking is where down the glory at the ground is. because he's looking down at the ground because the ground is where the glory is. He's visualizing all the steps the next day. That's right. It's like LeBron. LeBron shoots. He he shot a thousand times before he even touches the ball. He's visualizing the shot. That's right. Here this he is. is. Here's Andor this, visualizing. This, this is the LeBron pose right here. He's visualizing the shop, the shop where they do all the work. In Sad. conclusion, <laughs> Cassian is happy to be a prisoner of the Empire. He's not running from the law right now, right? 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 That's right. right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. some stress right. off his shoulders. Right. Stress off his shoulders. You don't got to work. You don't got to work. What are you going to eat tonight? Tube stuff. Tube stuff. Easy problem. No choice. Mm -hmm. Don't need to worry about None it. None of this, oh, whatever you want. You decide. No, 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 no. Tube stuff. Tube stuff. Okay, so this scene, Mon Mothma... And her husband, she drops this bomb where she says she was a senator at 16 and she got married to her husband at 15. So this means she's some like from some wealthy family with arranged marriage where they could set her up with an eligible 15 year old and a senatorial position. I mean, what kind of culture is this? She is the 1%. <laughs> I mean, not just one. What, she's like point zero 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 one percent. That's right. I mean, there's literally trillions and trillions of people in the entire galaxy, and they're like sixteen year old senator. Senator, send her up. Is she Senator qualified? The yes, because yes. she has money backing her. That being said, she's doing a good job. She yeah. care about the people. Mm -hmm. She's not so good about following the rules. She's kind, of, she's kind of a little bit of a rebel, but yeah. 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 Also, yeah. it makes sense for their relationship. Like they got married too young. They never really had time to explore themselves. And uh, that, I mean, I've, I've heard of arranged marriages sometimes being the best because they're like, people are like stick it out and they're like, we're going to make it work no matter what. But that's not these guys. These guys, they're together, but they don't really like each other. I mean, but on some level though, they're kind of making it work. They know who e each other. That's true. They know who they are. Uh, and they don't seem to be like actively hating one another. They True. just kind of know each other and they know like they're how to deal with each other. rather than yeah. combative. That's right. Yeah. Chippy stuff, not strike. That's right. Hmm. I don't know. The life of the 0.001% in the Star Wars universe, maybe it's uh, difficult to relate to, but there we go. Hmm. Uh, maybe that's why the daughter is like this. Like she like walks up to them and she's got this just real nervous energy to her. Let's watch. I, let's watch it. Yeah, let's watch it. We've met. Indeed. You're here all the time now. Indeed. I should find dad. Nice to see you again. Like so what? Suspicious. What? what was the point of that conversation? Like that's so weird. Who does that? She's like like bouncing all the time, like looking around, and she just asks some questions and bounced. Like weird. So I have I have on. a theory. I have a theory. Yeah. She's a member of the Rebel Alliance. She's Ooh. been recruited. That's why she's nervous. Ooh. And in fact, she may even know the banker dude. What's his name again? Let's look. Can we look up the banker dude? Oh. Um, mm -hmm. oh Got to remember his. I, I, his I name. don't know if I have his name. Oh, did they not tell us his name? Or maybe I just missed it. Okay. Well, the banker. Uh, <laughs> I haven't. Yeah. I haven't recorded as Mon Mothma's banker friend. Yeah. Okay. Mon Mothma's banker friend, <laughs> and Mon Mothma's daughter may even know each other from secret meetings, and she's trying to act natural around him, <gasps> and she doesn't know how to do it, and so she's like, she's "I gotta like, go see my dad. I don't know what's you, going you, on." You've You've been here before. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where's dad? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the daughter. Is trying to act like uh, an annoying teenage daughter, but is actually part of the rebellion. Oh my, my theory. gosh. She's so good at it. Mm. She's so good at being an annoying Com teen. Man. Comes, it becomes naturally. If she's a part of the Rebel Alliance, we should ask her to make a like a toy example of a of a battleground. If she makes a very good one, we'll know. You've been trained. She just get a servant to do it, and it'd be perfect. Yep. <laughs> that's a zero, 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 one percent of the Rebel <laughs> that's Alliance. Right. <laughs> that's right. Sinta. 
Center. Uh, Center. 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 She back. is back. She made it. I mean, we we don't even. It ha- she got back from uh, Aldani back yeah. to Ferrix off camera. Mm-hmm. The writers are just like, oh, he's, she's so badass. We don't even need to see it. It's just easy. No problem. I mean, yeah. That's that's I was fully invested in her. Like I knew that mm-hmm. she's gonna get out. She's gonna figure it out because she she's a she's a beast. I just I was a little bit worried though. No, I was a little bit worried. She I was a little bit worried. They know her face. She was part of the thing. She saw the Star mm-hmm. Destroyer, mm-hmm. and then she's like, "No problem. Mm-hmm. I'm back on mm-hmm. Barracks. No problem." She a badass secret operative. That's right. But I was a little bit nervous. And look, she's staring at us right now. I feel like I'm gonna shrivel. She's like a lion in the tall grass, not a tiger in the mom's spare bedroom it's very it's very different see i wonder what i wonder what cinta's family life is like maybe she she lost her family to the empire oh no, they, they they said it um oh, they did? cinta's family was killed by stormtroopers oh. and that's why it was such a big deal when when they said that the other guy was a stormtrooper I forgot his name okay i'll, oh, I'll yeah. show you okay so her oh, no, family was killed this. by stormtroopers, and that's why she's so determined to take down the Empire. Like, whatever right. it takes. I see. Mm-hmm. She's so determined, even to the point where she told Vel, she told Vel that she's like, our relationship exists only after the rebellion. Mm-hmm. We get whatever's left for us. The rebellion is priority. That's right, yeah. So she's romantic to Cinta. Yeah. I believe Sinta. in the cause, Cinta. Oh yeah, the next pick is Bix, and we actually learn who's on the other side of the line. Who is it? It was um, Luthen. Luthen's assistant, actually, Keela. Clea, yeah, yeah, Clea. Yeah. That's right. Clea, that's right. Clea, 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 Clea picks up. Yeah, she's like listening in the back room. And Clea's and Luthen's like, oh, we gotta we gotta warn Bix. We gotta tell her these things. We gotta keep her as an informant. And Clea's like, you gotta cut this off. And Burn. Luthen's like, yeah. And Clea shuts it down. Communication is done. And Bix is left high and dry. Yeah. <laughs> He's high inside this tube and dry because it's not raining. Because it's not raining. Clea is such a Clea is such a badass. She's so like yeah. steadfast, emotionally just focused on the cause. Mm-hmm. I mean, and she like insulates. She insulates Luthen from the connections to people, so like people don't know who he is. Like information goes through her. Yeah. Rebel organization. Yeah. They take care of their mentality so that they can do what needs to be done. That's true. Oh, and there it is. That's them having the conversation. It's them having the conversation. Clea saying, Luthen, you're slipping. You can't be be having these emotions for protecting these people. We have a bigger mission, which is the entire rebel action. That's right. Got to cut them loose. Got to cut them loose. And and it's difficult, but he sees it. He sees, he sees it. He it, says, yeah. "I am slipping." And he even needed to say those words to Mon Mothma, to be like, "Hey, it sucks. We got to do bad stuff and cause people pain, but it's got to happen. It's got to happen." That's right. Brutal. Segra Milo. Segra Milo. Is it Segra yeah, Milo so- or Segra Milo? Like a Milo. I don't know anymore. We'll find out. We'll find out from this guy, this cool, <laughs> cool bounty hunter dude guy. Yeah. So creepy. So scary. Is this a helmet or is this his skin? Or is this something he put on? I think it's a helmet. And these at least te- it's a least it's te- a rebreather there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ooh, so cool. Yeah. yeah if you know the species, uh let us know. Oh, please. I'm not sure what species it. They they look sand people-y, but that's wrong. Agreed. Do you see that that X wing X wing down in the yeah. corner? Yeah. Is that I mean, so? Where do X wings? Yeah. Could you circle, please? Yeah. Who manufactures them? Is what we're going to ask. Makes these. Yeah. Are they? Are, do they predate the Empire? Where like there was it some planets fighters, and then when the Empire came up then rebels were like hey can we use this it's that or they've independently secretly developed these ships like 
I highly doubt that they developed them in-house. I suspect that they probably bought them from a company or a culture or a planet somewhere. I guess in The Force, I think episode eight, I think, mm-hmm. they there's a scene where they where, where um, they say that like one company is making weapons mm-hmm. for both sides. So maybe, maybe that's that's where these come from. But it looks like the the Empire and the Rebels don't share suppliers, because the design looks different. Philo- yeah, the design philosophy is very different, and the fact That's that you've word. got millions of people, or millions of planets, trillions of people in the galaxy, it's possible that they don't, you know, have the same suppliers. Now, whether the supplier of the X wing and other gear is on the Rebels side or is just taking the, the money, unknown. I think. Oh. Maybe in episode eight, they meant like categorically, like the the people profiting don't really care. Okay, maybe not like the actual specific company mm-hmm. doesn't is on the same team. Right. I see, it, yeah. I see, it, I see. It. But that's also post fall of the empire, right? That's true. So maybe it's different. I don't know. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. And then we meet Saw. Saw. Saw Guerrero. Yeah, he's a difficult personality, it seems like. Yeah. So he really wants like... to fight this alone on his, on his own. Well, yeah, he seems like there's like multiple factions within the Rebel Alliance and Luthen's right. trying to bring them together. Yeah. And Saul's like, mm, no, we, I want to, I don't want to fight with those lunatics or those other people. I want to do it on my own terms. So we'll see how this goes. But, but Luthen's, Luthen's got a point. I mean, if you take a bunch of toothpicks, they're easy to break individually, but built them together, and now they've got a bridge, very strong. That's right. So Luthen wants all the little rebel cells to work together, but it's risky because you only really can trust the people in your own cell. You don't know what's going on, on the outside. That's right. You and especially, especially if they're not politically aligned with you so much. That's right. It could be difficult to get people to work together. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I know it's prison, <laughs> but it would be fun to build this. Like, like, okay, if you didn't have to because it's a prison, this would be an awesome team building exercise. Like people do escape rooms. What is that? That's, an, that's a prison, right? They're not allowed to get out unless you solve their puzzles. But this is the same thing. But instead of doing riddles, I could make things like Legos, like fucking awesome. I think this also demonstrates, though, why prison labor doesn't really work. Because even though, yeah, they're manufacturing these things, like they're not going to take time out of their day to innovate, to figure out new ways of doing things, to really be working. They're just going to like, we need to keep our numbers high. They're not like invested in the work. They're not going to get financially compensated for doing a better job. Like then if they're a rebel, they're going to do some subtle sabotage as well. That's super smart. Something that'll pass safety checks or whatever, but like actually it's gonna wear down. Like I didn't grease this properly. Like it's gonna wear down. It's gonna break. Like, that's right. Yeah, uh, that's right. And they have no incentive to make it good because you're you're prison and you're you're forcing right. them to do this. That's right. Yeah. And then the, the next picture is like, what the heck are they making? What are, what oh, is this? Oh yeah. I. There it looks like there are six legs, that like, mm-hmm. look like a flower. Mm. No, it looks like four legs in this picture. Oh no, six legs. You're right, six legs. Yeah, six legs. So let me let me draw them. There's one here. Please, here, yeah, please. Down four, and then one coming out here, and one going out there. So six. Exactly six. Yeah. So what six-sided legs is this? I mean, my thought was that this is like vehicle legs. What six-sided uh, things do they have in the Empire? It's kind of small for a vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't come up with a with a thing. I mean, it looks like they have like knuckle joints on the six. Exactly. So you're right. Maybe yeah. it's like pressing down on a surface and flexing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Are there any six sided imperial walkers? Let's look. Or six legged imperial walkers. Well, it's really six six toed. Right. We're really looking at their feet. Oh, is it a foot? I don't know. I mean, I thought that... I thought 
this could be yeah i guess it could be a claw it could be the hand like, like a foot like a bird foot uh i thought this yeah. maybe was like closer up to the beginning and then you would attach legs to like to that to the tips of these things uh, uh let's see let's see if there are any six legged guys in I see four and two. Those are the classics. One, two. And the toes mm -hmm. are four. Four toed. Or or hoofed for the AT AT. Ah, you got little toes. Little toes. The at at. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is for then. Yeah. If you guys have any ideas about what these things are, let us know. Yeah, I guess. This is this is like the Imperial Claw Machine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's next? Is that it? I think it's the end of the episode. End of episode. Yeah. All right, ah, so that was season one, episode eight. We'll be back for season one, episode nine. Episode nine, yeah. We feel a building. Feel the hype.